is up guys welcome back to another video on the channel today it's time to wash cars again and I say cars because if you've seen uh, the previous car wash videos that I've done in the past it's been a one car today we're gonna wash two of them so I have my Ferrari F12 Berlinetta and then also right there my Ford F-150. Now, if you've seen the video that I filmed here about three years ago, how to properly wash and dry your car without touching it, you know the method that I used, and that is using a foam cannon with a pressure washer. And the foam cannon that I've been using now for about three years is Adam's foam cannon. And to be honest with you, it still works just fine. But in today's video, we're trying out a new foam cannon that I actually bought on uh, Adam's website. You can buy them several other places as well. And this is the MTM Hydro 22.2. And the dot two is because this is an updated uh, design of the MTM Hydro. The previous one, you couldn't really put it down on the ground because it would fall because of the design that it has, kind of like the Adam's one. So if I turn this around, it'll fall because of this nozzle being very heavy and unless you have it filled with uh, a bunch of water and obviously the car shampoo that I use, this is also from Adams. Now this is not a sponsored video by Adams, I'm just using the products uh, that I've been using for several years. You can use whatever product you want, of course, but for anyone that is interested in uh, what I do use in today's video and in car washing in general, I'll leave links for that down in the description. Now I also have a pressure washer here, I bought it at Walmart, it's a Sun Joe. I'm not an expert on pressure washers really, but I do like this one. It has a max PSI of 2300 and 1.6 GPM max, which stands for gallons per minute. And when you use any of these foam cannons, they do recommend that you have a pressure washer that is at least 1.2 GPM to work properly and get the, the proper foam and the suds and so on that we're gonna demonstrate in today's video. Now there's tons of different foam cannons out there on the market in different price ranges. The MTM Hydro is definitely the most expensive one that you can buy and it's also considered the best one that you can use. Now Adam's foam cannon is definitely ranked top three. There's several comparison videos on YouTube between these two, but today you're gonna get my personal opinion from someone that's been using foam cannons and predominantly washing his cars that way. So to summarize what we're using in today's video, we got a pressure washer, we got the MTM Hydro, we got Adam's car shampoo. We also have a massive farmer's tan here, which is why I'm wearing a tank top. And also to be recommended if uh, you're bald like me, wear a hat so you don't burn your skull. It is extremely sunny outside today. It is about 85 degrees and many people do say that you know you shouldn't wash your car in sunlight. It's not the most optimal but the car shampoo that I'm actually using is pH neutral. So Adams pretty much promises that you will not get water spots as long as the shampoo is on the car. Now once we're rinsing the car of course very important to dry it off as quickly as you can. Now, I was recently on a one day rally here. So from afar, you can't really tell that the car is dirty, but once you get close, there are certain spots on this car that get dirtier than others. You can see here, this is from, you know, tires and just grime on the road and just like black soot on the uh, white paint here, but mainly up front. So you can see here, we got a, a bug splash fest going on all over the uh, front end of the car here and on the Ferrari we're strictly going to use the pressure washer and the foam can and we're not going to use a wash mitt or anything and I guarantee you that we'll get all of this stuff off and neither of these cars I should add are ceramic coated so bugs especially love them so you know they're splattered all over the front windshield here as well so we're just going to start by uh, filling up the actual foam cannon here first with water. So you just unscrew the actual nozzle, just fill it up with water. So it's filled up to right about where my thumb is. Now we're going to take some car shampoo, just fill it in there. Now before we start washing here, we'll do a quick little comparison between these two foam cannons that I've been using and uh, that are actually ranked two of the best ones on the market. And we'll start with the Adams foam cannon here. So we got two little adjustabilities here. Now the actual nozzle, you can turn it and you see it opens and closes and that just dictates how wide the spray is on your car. And then you have this little thing right here and that'll dictate how much or how thick of foam you're spraying versus if you have it pretty much all the way open. 
it's almost only spraying water. Now on the MTM, it works pretty much the same way, but when you turn this nozzle here, you actually hear a click, unlike on the Adams one. And then the spray nozzle, the same way, you don't hear a click, but yeah. So this one slightly, slightly better in design, but does it produce thicker foam than the Adams one does? I'm not too sure, but we're gonna find out. This is definitely the most expensive one out there on the market though, at almost $85. Now what I usually start by doing first is spraying the car off with the pressure washer and then the foam cannon and not the other way around. Now, as you might be able to tell here on the side mirror, most of the bug splashes were able to be removed with just a pressure washer. We got a teeny weeny bit left there. But what we're gonna do is move on to the front of the vehicle where we have about 10,000 times the amount of uh, dead bugs. And we're gonna try to get most of them off and then we'll foam the car in and let that sit. And once we're spraying it off, I guarantee you all this will be gone. All right, so I spent about two and a half to three minutes spraying the car off just using the pressure washer. Like you can see we still have bug splashes all across the front of the car. But I just wanted to show you guys the method that I used before I used the foam cannons. A lot of the major, major grit you can uh, remove with just the pressure washer. That doesn't really mean the car is clean. Once we use the foam cannon and the soap and everything and the final result, then we'll see how good this method with the best foam cannon on the market actually works. So I'm gonna start spraying the F-150 off as well and then we'll foam both cars in at the same time. All right, so it's time for the fun part. So what we're gonna do is just simply connect the foam cannon, the MTM Hydro, to my pressure washer here and then we'll uh, start washing. Now we'll try out some of the different settings here first. So you can narrow the spread and it's real foamy. It really is. Look at that. And we got max foam. Look at that. I mean, wow, I gotta say, I don't think I've seen this thick of foam before. Yeah, that's impressive. I like it, let's keep going. vehicles foamed in most of uh, the foam is actually running off the Ferrari here so you can't really tell anymore but the F-150 is black it's a lot easier to see the foam so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off the Ferrari we're gonna spray it off dry it off and then we'll see the end result and then we'll just let this sit and linger on the F-150 like I said uh, the car shampoo is pH neutral so it can technically sit in the Sun of course it's not the best thing in the world but We'll get it off. So we still got bug splashes and stuff here. We'll see that uh, this comes off now once it's been uh, lingering in the car shampoo for a little while. But after having uh, used this MTM foam cannon now, this is the second time I'm using it, first time on camera. I mean, I like it. Is it better than the Adams one? I mean, I personally don't really think, you know, the usability of it is, or, or the functionality of it. I don't, I don't think the car becomes cleaner by using this thing. Um, yeah, it, it was real foamy right in the beginning, then it kind of tapered off, then the foam came back. So yeah, that's my opinion on it. I, I don't really know if, you know, this is worth being the most expensive one out there on the market when you can buy cheaper ones. That's just my opinion. But yeah, I'll keep it. I like it. But if it's actually worth it, I don't know.
All right, so we're done spraying off the car. And as you guys can see here, the front end of the car is squeaky clean. There is no bug stains. I mean, I might have missed one here somewhere, but I can't really see it. And again, my car is not ceramic coated. It is, however, expelled. So there's a full, you know, Expel Clear Bra wrap on here, but there's no ceramic coating that actually makes it even easier to get bug splashes off. But as long as you have pressure washer and a foam cannon, you know, you guys don't have to like, you know, go buy these because I'm making a video with them, but that's what I choose to use. I know there's a lot cheaper ones out there on the market, so I would advise you guys to just do your research. But if you're interested in anything that I've been using in this video, all the links, like I said, are in the description. But do your research first before you go and buy, you know, your first foam cannon if you haven't owned one before that is and if, you, if you're not really familiar why a lot of people use this method where you know foaming in the car think of it as if you have a really dirty child that's been out playing all day has been rolling around in mud and stuff like that and you put them in the bathtub and then you let them sit there and soak and it gets all that dirt and grime from up under their nails that's basically what you're doing to the car you let it sit and soak in the soap and it drags the dirt off the car and then you spray it off. Now, if you haven't been washing your car for a very long time and it's got very, you know, thick dirt in the paint or in the film or whatever, you know, just using a foam gun and then spraying it off is not really gonna work. You're gonna have to use a mitt. But for me, I, I wash my cars pretty regularly. This is the main method that I do use, except for like on the F-150, because I don't wash that as often and it does get really dirty. Right now, it's just got, you know, soap sitting here. I'm going to spray that off and I will be using a mitt to get this clean. It's also a black car so uh, I'm going to have to put in some more work on this. But as you guys can see on the uh, Ferrari though it works wonders. It's perfect. But now the car is all wet. It's sitting in the sun and I will be using a towel to dry this off. I'm not just using air like I've done in my previous videos because again it is expelled so I can use a towel on here I'm not really worried about it getting scratched up and it can by the way get scratched up even though your car is wrapped but when it sits out in the sun like this and uh, maybe you get one of those miniature swirl scratches in the film it'll heal itself out by sitting in the sun in the heat so that's another plus of having your car expelled it really really protects your paint sprayed the F-150 off and I actually love this color. Ford doesn't make it anymore. It's called Tuxedo Black. It's a nice black color with a uh, metallic sparkle to it. You can't really see it now because the sun's not on there. But the paint is very contaminated. So as I said in the beginning of the video, I want to do a full paint correction on this thing. So every time I wash it, I do use a mitt to try to get it as clean as possible and then I dry it off. If I were to just air dry this, it, it, a lot of water spots and so on. So I'm just going to do a traditional, you know, mitt wash on this thing. It's going to take me a little while. So uh, yeah, we'll be back here in a second once we're done. And there we have it. So it is uh, clean, as clean as it can get. Like I said earlier, I mean, it's a five-year-old truck. It's never seen a garage. It was sitting outside on the lot when we bought it. It's got tons of swirl marks you know, contaminated paint and all that stuff. So let me know if you guys want to see a paint correction video on this truck here. I mean, we would obviously do complete before and afters and, you know, highlight all the swirl marks and stuff and then do a polish and, you know, clay bar and everything. Get it looking as new as possible. So we've done the Ferrari and we've done the F-150, but we actually have one car left or at least the front of the car. I recently cleaned it, but then we drove to Ohio and back. And yeah, we got like a concentration camp of bugs here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray off the front of the AMG as well. But this time we're gonna use Adam's foam cannons. So we do get a bit of a comparison, although it's not gonna be that much of a difference, trust me. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just switch spots between the AMG and uh, the truck. There we go. All right, so we're gonna do the same process over again. We're gonna use the pressure washer and spray most of, or the worst part of the bug splash fest here. And then we'll use uh, Adam's foam cannon.
See, so just that made a huge, huge difference. So now we're going to use Adam's foam cannon and uh, see the difference in the actual foam and the, the lather that you get between the two foam cannons. Well, what do you guys think? I mean, which one did it the best? I mean, they both produce thick, thick foam. But, you know, I mean, I can't, I can't really say that the one is better than the other. That's just my opinion, but maybe you guys are of a different opinion. I don't know. We're going to let this sit for a little while, and then we'll spray it off, and uh, the AMG will be clean as well. All right, so that was about three minutes. Let's spray it off. All right, so there we have it, folks. We got two and a half cars cleaned up today. One completely with a foam cannon. One with a foam cannon and a mitt wash. And then uh, we did the AMG, or the front of the AMG, because that's really the only place that was dirty, with two different foam cannons. This is a top dog. It's about 80 bucks. This is MTM Hydro. This is Adam's foam cannon. This one is around 50 some bucks. This is like 80 plus dollars. I don't really see much of a difference between them. What I do know though is that I love foam cannons because if you use them properly and let it sit and, and draw that dirt from out of the paint like in these crevices and, and things like that it really helps when you do a proper mitt wash as well because the car is going to be cleaner before you put a mitt on it and start messing around on the paint. And just like the F-150 the AMG I mean, I have, I've only owned it for a few months, but it's seen some uh, tougher days. I can tell in the paint, the paint's horrible. It's got a lot of swirl marks and so on. So I wanna do a full paint correction on both these cars. So that's upcoming videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Have you used foam cannons yourself? Which one do you think is the best? Leave your input in the comments. But with that, I think this video is over. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Check out the links in the description if you're interested in any of the products that I use when I clean my cars. Also, check out shopautovlog.com for any kind of hats, t-shirts, hoodies, keychains, and all that good stuff you might want. Now, in the making of this video, I think my uh, farmer's tan is going to be turning into more of a redneck tan. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.